Hello, hi friends, you're watching my YouTube channel. Today I have an interesting review and the video about different stones uh, I have struck. And I wanted to show you in this video that many friends, uh, when they watch my videos, always sending me their stones on WhatsApp and they always requested to identification and as well the value of the stone. And you know, everything is not meteorite yet that you will find on earth and somewhere and certainly maybe sometimes you can find this uh, real meteorites but most of you can say 99 percent the meteorites that people show me they are not the meteorites so especially i'm ma making this video because of uh, you can compare the material that you have and you compare with my video that material i will show you and in this video i will show you that all rocks earth rocks that uh, people always confusing and uh, not now what is the reality is because what you have in your hand, you always uh, uh, think that uh, that is an expensive thing and uh, uh, you want to get know the value and you want to know the identification and authenticity of the stone. And you know, the stones I will show you in this video, they are very, very necessary for you to watch this video until the end because I will show one by one different stones and you will see and you can compare with my stones that are meteorites or the not meteorite. And I will show you especially here the rocks that are earth rocks, not alien material, not skyfall, but these are actually earth materials that people find somewhere and always show me for the identification. So people very, very confused about meteorites. So this thing I have to uh, claim with you that uh, what actually the stone is meteorite and uh, the rock materials. You know, rock materials are very beautiful. And always you can say, uh, not only beautiful, they are uh, uh, they can be used as uh, decorative materials, as uh, uh, as in your office, as well in your home. And uh, the main thing is they are all valueless. They have no values. And uh, so this way, I wanted to show you the material that is actually not meteorite. They are the rocks from Earth. So these materials have no values. So you can see it and uh, watch the video until the end. So you will understand everything that I have and you can compare with that. This is a rock. This is just like a jasper uh, kind of material that in my hand. So people always confusing and uh, showing me different materials and they asking the identification and the value of stone. So actually rocks are simple rocks and uh, no value, but they are sometimes uh, very beautiful. You can put at your office and uh, as well as your bedroom. So for the beauty. So there is no benefit and uh, nothing is going to be costly. And uh, other one, if we talk about uh, another other stone that is also very similar, but actually this is not a meteorite. So what is especially I'm going to show maybe this video will be long video today because I, I, I wish that uh, I will show you maximum stones with, with me at this time. I want to show you all that if you have or you will find uh, like these stones you could be able to understand actually what stone you need to find and uh, what what stone not uh, needed by you so this color you know very very light green color parrot green color but actually it is also a rock not a gemstone not meteorite so people confusing the surface of the stone is not just like uh, fuel crest and just like you no know, pits and so if you compare with the real meteorites you will find that uh, many things not comparable if they are not comparable comparable that means uh, your stone is not meteorite so it may be sometimes gemstone but uh, maybe costly maybe inexpensive so you can never believe that uh, everything can be diamond or expensive kind of gemstones but of course you can find these kind of things in the rocks, in, in the mountains and the rivers as well. So the next stone, if I show you, also very similar to meteorite, but actually not meteorite. And this color, you know, is the natural color of the rock across the stone, but it is not uh, meteorite. Because meteorite, uh, it, uh, the surface looks like uh, the fusion crust, but it is not fusion crust, it is the color of the stone that is across the stone you can find after cutting that you will find that the the rock is is a the natural color with the rock this is all natural about, about this stone so there's no pits no 
crust, fusion crust, and uh, other similarities are not uh, matching with the stone. But because many people, you know, don't know about the gemstones and the meteorites, so that's why they're confused. They can't identify what is actually the meteorite, gemstone, or the simple common rocks that we found on uh, on mountains, on rivers. So that's why it is very necessary to show you every kind of gemstone, every kind of sorry rock that is uh, at this time I already collected for you specially, so I could be able to show you these things. And this is another one. You will find the specific nature of this uh, rock, but uh, you can't say that this is meteorite. You know, this is uh, a rock, a common simple rock that we can find in rivers as well, in mountains, rocky areas. So very easy to find. And every third, fourth rock that you will find on Earth that will be very similar to the meteorite so people confuse maybe that is a meteorite and that will be very expensive and this way and uh, i will show you also that what is the real meteorite you know this is a iron meteorite in my hand and you can see here specific pits on the surface this surface filled with the specific pits and you will find crust that is blackish crust fusion crust you can say and this is 90 uh, 99 percent you can say the meteorite because i don't have a certificate but uh, i'm sure that this is meteorite so that's why i'm showing you that uh, what is the difference between meteorite and the common rock so this rock is uh, the alien material the meteorite and the previous one i showed you that all stones were common rocks so next uh, move i will show you more rocks that you will be understanding and that is also in my hand and the next one and you will find pits on very similar to the meteorite and as well that is uh, scratched with other stones when put together they can scratch to each other and they can rub each other's surface so that's why this just like uh, surface and when you clean that, you will find some rare pits just like meteorites. But these are not actually meteorites because meteorites are a different thing that I already told you. The, uh, the symptoms and uh, the clues that we will find in the meteorites and as well in the rocks. So next, uh, what I want to show you that uh, this kind of material people always show me, you know, this is sometime maybe agate maybe quartz and the quartz you know having no value like this uh, material this is just the uh, opaque you can say or uh, translucent and translucent materials uh, in quartz also having no value so these kind of stones of many people showing me and they when they found they think that this is a diamond you know white color and uh, luster is just like the diamond and you know here in my region where i am living here diamond is not possible in in the deserts or in rivers and as well in the mountains not possible so that's why uh, the diamond is a different thing and this kind of diamond like uh, 100 grams 50 grams 20 grams that is impossible in in our region so that's why these all are quotes that uh, people found and always showing me to identify that uh, stone is uh, real, uh, really diamond or something else. So don't waste your time on that kind of things that uh, are useless always and you are hoping that would be uh, very expensive. And uh, another stone in my hand also very similar to meteorite. But you know, meteorites having very different nature, different crystal habit. So that's why it is similar, but it is not meteorite. So keep in mind always, all the time. And this especially video I'm making for all those people, uh, viewers, my friends always uh, 
fan of uh, me that always showing me for the identification of their uh, meteorites and common stones and also they try to find out the gemstones from the river and as well on mountains the people living on mountains areas they can find these like materials so they always always hoping that maybe this is a expensive stone so the next uh, we see if the stone is also very similar but you know that is like previous stones that is also not a meteorite that is common rock in my hand so you can't believe on similar things that could be meteorite meteorite very few on earth and you can somewhere easily find easily not available because it's a alien stone and certainly sometimes you can find so that's why keep in mind all the time that is not so common stone that you can find easily that is very very difficult to find and certainly maybe you can find so you can see and these kind of pits and uh, dents you can find on the surface this this kind of you can find on the surface of meteorites so that's why i'm always saying that people confusing when they compare their stones with the meteorites on internet especially they use internet to identify the gemstones and as well the meteorites and their rocks but uh, you know on the internet also very confusing things that uh, the common person who don't know about the meteorite and the gemstones as well the common rocks and uh, he don't have sufficient information regarding these kind of things so he always confused and uh, try to compare on google but uh, he can't do so because many confusing things for him over there can be found so there is no final solution of their confusion and uh, they remain confused and uh, maybe they can increase their confusion by searching again and again things and they cannot get their final solution and uh, you know the, if you have meteorite the final solution if you see all the symptoms and you can find on the surface or uh, something magnetic test you can perform with that if all these things qualify in meteorites then you can make final classification certificate lab report in this way you will find that uh, your stone is uh, meteorite or not a meteorite if meteorite of course you can sell very easily and the lab owner will tell you and uh, uh, and the stone uh, researcher can tell you that the stone's value also he can tell you and the appraisal services can give you so this way you can find your price of your stone and as well the authenticity of the meteorite and the next stone in my hand you can see here a material blackish material in this way and the flow of blackish material and here the flow of uh, grayish material and these two materials mixed uh, and uh, making very different and very beautiful thing this is actually common rock having no value but beautiful and very very similar to meteorite so that's why I collected specially for you to show that if this stone is a rock then what is your stone you can compare it easily and you can check it easily and you will be able to understand the things that not available on internet very easily and you are always getting confused more and more so these all things are very beneficial for you to identify your stones and anywhere you go anytime if you find something very interesting from earth you can compare with that another stone is also very similar to meteorite and you can find the pits on the surface very shiny surface just like metallic material but it is a, a shiny common rock but not meteorite so this way you will find many things on earth very 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 similar to 
many materials sometimes you can find uh, some lustry silvery golden materials that uh, may be not gold not not silver but uh, maybe more than silver and more than gold that can be expensive and sometimes sometimes there's nothing value so depends the things what you find so in this material you know 